Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mongoose for Cassandra developers. So hello, everyone in the Cassandra community. My name is Val. I've been the maintainer of Mongoose um, since about April 2014, nine years, long time. So what is, uh, what is Mongoose? Um, I like to describe it as the most downloaded database framework for Node.js. Um, it's an ODM for Node.js and MongoDB, some, um, some high-level stats. Um, according to GitHub, Mongoose is used by about 2.8 million public GitHub repos, which is pretty extraordinary when you think about it. Um, we get about 2 million weekly downloads and about 25,000 GitHub stars. You have this, uh, here's a little graph showing kind of uh, Mongoose's download numbers relative to some other similar tools in the Node.js space. So it's a lot of talk about a MongoDB project for a Cassandra conference, right? Well, turns out we're uh, we're going to be introducing um, Cassandra support for Mongoose via the Stargate JSON API. Um, specifically, there is a new Stargate Mongoose driver. So what does that mean? So that means that Mongoose devs can now start using Cassandra without changing their existing code or with minimal changes to their existing code. Just plug in Stargate Mongoose, and all of a sudden, your Mongoose code can start writing data to Cassandra and loading data from Cassandra via the Stargate JSON API. So Stargate Mongoose is still not production ready. It's very early on, but we've made a lot of progress, and we're excited to share that with you. So we have a sample app repo on GitHub. Um, just look at uh, the Stargate GitHub organization. There's a Stargate Mongoose sample apps repo. And so today I'm going to show you a, uh, a sample app that we built called iPhone Market. It's an e-commerce application. Um, on the back end, we use Mongoose. On the front end, there's a view front end application. Um, it, uh, it runs on top of the Stargate JSON API and Cassandra, assuming that you're running those locally. Um, built using full stack JavaScript, runs on Netlify. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So here's the iPhone market app. Let's say I want to buy an iPhone 12 Pro. Great. A little old, but still nice. Added it to my shopping cart. Going to check out. Oh, look, I get redirected to Stripe. How cool. Going to enter in test Stripe credentials. Great. Now I'm going to pay. And great. Look, my order is confirmed. And all that data went through uh, went through Stargate's JSON API and was stored in Cassandra. So let's go back to slide deck real quick. So now that now that you've seen the high level of the sample app. Let's take a look at what the actual source code looks like. So Stargate Mongoose uses Mongoose's driver API, which lets you plug in a, uh, a different, basically underlying data storage layer for Mongoose. So here's some Mongoose code where you import Mongoose, set a bunch of global options, and set a driver. Now, ideally, as a if you want to switch an existing Mongoose application to use uh, to use Stargate. Those two uh, those two lines of code in the red box on the screen is all you need to change, ideally. Um, quick over quick overview of what a cart looks like in um, in Mongoose. So this is the uh, the cart schema for the for the e-commerce sample app. Um, in Mongoose, applications define schemas, not the database. So let's take a little a uh, little closer look at what the cart schema looks like. Um, cart model, um, define a cart schema, um, a schema configures a model. Um, so a cart has four properties, items, which is an array of objects. Each item has a product ID and a quantity. So you can think the product ID refers to a uh, refers to the iPhone 12, quantity is one. Um, order ID is a reference to an order once you've checked out. Total is the as uh, the total amount or the total cost of the items in the cart, and the Stripe session ID stores a the uh, the ID of your current checkout session in Stripe. 
Um, important thing to note is that a schema in the Mongoose application is not just a wrapper for a create table. Again, the schema is application defined. It's not set in Cassandra. Thanks to, uh, thanks to the uh, super shredding data model that Aaron and his team have built out, the schema lives entirely in the application. It's not set at all in Cassandra. So that means you as an application developer can keep your application development hat on. No need to switch to doing database admin when you want to add a new property to your schema when you're trying to do some local development. Creating a new cart is easy. Cart model has a create method that takes in a uh, that takes in a JSON object. Um, in this case, we're creating a new cart with an array of items that's passed in through the HTTP request body. And again, um, Mongoose is responsible for uh, for casting and validating the request data. So in this case, you're just taking data from an HTTP request body and passing it into Mongoose and relying on Mongoose to make sure that items corresponds to the uh, to the schema for the cart model. So loading a cart, um, carts also have a find one method that lets you uh, that lets you pull out a uh, a single document that matches the given query filter. So query filters are defined using JavaScript objects. In this case, we have a very simple query that finds one document by a uh, by an ID that's pulled out of the HTTP requests um, query string. However, Stargate does support much more complex queries too. However, you'll have to take a look at the other sample apps to see those. Um, for updating a cart, um, there are several ways to update an existing cart. But one particularly interesting one is find one and update. Again, uh, this is a new command that's native in Stargate JSON API. Um, it's an atomic find and modify. So you atomically load a document, update, apply some updates, and then pass the uh, pass the updated document back to the user. Um, also supports all sorts of cool query operator update operators. Like this dollar push operator lets you update the items array and push on a new quantity and uh, product ID. So just to recap, um, list of things that you don't really have to do anymore if you're working with Mongoose. Um, you don't have to explicitly create a table anymore. You don't have to define a schema in the database. You write that in your application and modify it in your application. Um, no CQL queries. Just use a uh, just you define your queries using JavaScript objects, and all this adds up to you spending more time developing your application and less time worrying about administering your database locally for uh, when you're trying to build an MVP. So what's really exciting about this is um, not only are we bringing modern JavaScript to Cassandra, but we're also bringing uh, well. We're also bringing Cassandra to modern JavaScript developers. Um, so this uh, this e-commerce sample app is a full stack JavaScript application built on top of Cassandra via the Stargate JSON API. We have a serverless backend with async await that's deployed on Netlify functions, which is um, Netlify's white labeled AWS Lambda under the hood. Um, front end and back end are deployed on Netlify. And um, so this means that not only can you start developing full stack applications on top of Cassandra using modern JavaScript, but now all of the uh, all of the JavaScript developers out there can start using Cassandra with the tools that they're used to using. So again, Stargate Mongoose is now uh, is available, so you can go and try it out. Um, just remember, not production ready, but you're more than welcome to please try it out and let us know what you think. So thanks very much for listening, and here's a cute picture of a mongoose. <laughs>